Hello, welcome back for another video uh, with Stock Lighthouse. Thank you, thank you very much for your support. Okay, this is our third video. I really appreciate that you watch our previous video and come back for a new video this week. All right, really thank you for that. All right, let's get in and talk about what happened in the US market last week. All right, so let's first look at S&P 500. Okay, this is SPX, the S&P 500 index. All right, so we have no... Uh, S&P 500 have been moving up trend bullish for the whole year okay until or rather for the past 10 years all right for this year price have been very volatile very choppy okay so what's happening in US uh, market okay as mentioned in the previous video now S&P 500 in October uh, has came down all right so now it's pretty much consolidating so as we can see that uh, over here this is where it's consolidating now right okay so in the previous video we we identify somewhere around here this is where the, the the support level is we are looking at last week so what happened is on monday when the market opened we have a very clear buoy sign in the sense that price actually bounced off okay the price came down all the way down to this low and then the buyer came in again to push all the price all the way up and close higher where they opened and forming this what we call a bullish spin candle all right okay right above where the support level is so we thought that mm, okay price pretty much moving as what well. we, we we kind of think of price going to trend within this channel for the whole year until 2019 and see where the whole market is really moving okay but because of all the news is going all the politics is still going within us and china and also of course in europe where they are actually uh cutting off their qe program and of course in brexit where the PM may have, have having a challenge actually bring her proposal of exiting the EU with her government uh, parliament members. All right, so all this create a lot of volatility in the market. So what happened is on uh, on Tuesday or Thursday, all right, price actually went up pre-market, basically before the market is opening, price went up somewhere when market opens, it moved up a bit higher, but then by the mid of the day, uh, price came back down and then closed on the lower. So this is what happened on uh tuesday to thursday and then right on friday price open lower all right and, and and just keep continue all the way down and close lower uh when the market closes on friday that's what's happening last week all right so now we are looking at uh in the sense that uh, s p 500 is still within a, a, a zone all right on the support level zone right because if you look at it the next support level we are looking at is somewhere around this level right where all the price uh, closes right this somewhere around this level where all the price closes why because this is the lowest point uh, of the previous low all right as well as oops sorry just let me get rid of all this uh, ads first all right okay yeah so that's where the previous previous low is right over here and then in february between february to may price came back twice touching on this level again and bounced back up again so this is the next level which is about 153, 153, 1583. This is the next support level we are looking for S&P 500 and to see where really this price will go. It probably will come down and bounce up, all right? Uh, that's where it will continue on the range, all right? If not, once it broke this level, come down, then we are confirmed full force going down into a uh, bearish market. Uh, looking at where the political news is going on with all the continents, there's a more highly likelihood it's going to happen. All right. So uh, if for us, we are looking more towards the bearish side of the market for now. Why? Because uh, in the previous video, if you have not watched it, go watch it again. We did mention that uh, looking at the simple uh, moving average, uh, the blue line, which is the 50 days period and the red line, which is 200, 200 day period on a common technical point of view, when the blue crosses below the red, okay, there's a technical sign that actually the, the market is on a bearish bearish move. All right. Uh, we are looking more towards the downtrend. So now we are right here at this support level. Uh, price is still very uncertain because we, we, we still don't know what is the clear direction S&P 500 is really moving. But it just still towards more on the bearish side. All right. So as an investor now, if you are looking, uh, looking into doing something in the market now, all right uh, looking especially your sophisticated investor looking how to uh, short the market at this point in time when the market is going down 
uh, one of the stock you can look at is uh, Amazon. All right, this right Amazon right now. Okay, it came up and then after that it broke the trend and then came back down in October, just like most of the stock. Uh, now pretty much trading sideways, but as you can see, this is where the resistance level is. All right, the support level. Okay, the support level somewhere around this level. Somewhere around this level. All right. Same thing, just like the S and P five hundred. Uh, based on the uh simple moving average technical point of view. Okay, the fifty had crossed the two hundred, so that's where the price is going to come down. All right. In fact, uh, based on the past movement, you can see that it's actually bounced off this resistance level. And now touches this SME 200 and price came down and closed lower on Friday. Alright, so if you are looking to short the market, what you can do is actually if price open lower on Monday, below here you can actually look at doing your entry. Alright, oops, looking at entry. Uh, of course, when we short the market, we are more looking at things on a short term basis. Alright, okay, you can always place your stop loss on this level. Yeah, so that just in case you got it wrong, Price shoot back up, all right. You got stop up over here. Uh, you have some losses, but you minimize your losses because if you don't have this stop loss, price can go up in infinite, and then your losses gonna be huge, 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 huge. So never ever do that. Always place your stop loss if you are doing short selling, right? Just to protect yourself. Okay. Uh, if you are if you're not doing a direct buying or selling a stock, or rather you are a CFD investor or trader, uh, the other way you can look at it to short the market is actually buying options. All right. So uh, as of now, that I mentioned earlier, the market now is within the support zone. Things are not that clear in terms of direction for the U.S. market. So I would say that uh, it's best if you really want to enter a trade for Amazon, actually look at it for on a short term basis. All right. So I will actually recommend that uh, you should look at uh, just on the one month out contract, which is in January, actually do a credit spread. Alright, so what do I mean by credit spread is actually on, on this. Alright, so you can actually sell and buy a call to create a credit spread. Alright, if you are a person who knows how to do credit spread. One level you can look at it, it's actually over, if you are more conservative, alright, you can actually do a credit spread on this level. Alright, create it at somewhere about 1780 level. Alright, but of course if you are a restaker, alright, price came back down, touch just the S simple movies 200 day period and then come back down again uh, if you are a risk taker you can always sell your credit spread on this level which is about 1710 all right 1710 of course the risk is higher because the next the actual high resistance at this point of time is about 1780 all right so you can do that if you want to all right it's really up to your your risk appetite okay but if you're talking about options all right what we are looking at is basically selling the core cost option credit call option all right so you are if you are looking that uh, looking all the way out for 180 here 180 180 to 190 you create a $10 spread uh, based on one contract you're risking about a thousand dollars so you can actually based on current when the market close on on the weekend okay the price last close about 1.77 right one dollar seventy cent for per share of credit premium you're going to receive Okay, that roughly work out that uh, you'll be looking at a 21% return for uh, your ROI or returns. All right? If you are a risk taker, like I mentioned earlier, you can actually look at uh, 1720. 1720. So basically you sell 1720 call and buy a 1730 call to create a credit spread. You are looking at receiving a premium of $2.77 and that roughly work out to be about 38%. 38%. Okay, of returns on your investment right that is one of the way but do remember uh, this kind of credit spread is risky because you have a short time period for option it's only one month if price don't come back down and shoot up uh, and close on your expire above your strike price then you are just gonna lose that whole sum of money investment so there's a risk there so just to take note of that all right that's one of the way okay of course if you are an investor who who own who don't really know how to deal with CFD or actually how to do with options or okay and you just want to buy stocks itself and you're more comfortable uh, looking for stock that is more on uptrend okay some of other stocks that you can look at uh, will be this okay of course one uh, there are a few markets or rather few sectors actually moving in 
opposite direction of where the S&P 500 now is moving uh, because of the nature of the business is uh, if I look at the sectors as a whole one of them will be XLU which is basically the US utility market okay right just let me zoom up you know utility is something that everybody has of us has to use regardless where the market is uh, on a recession or not we need electricity we need lights uh, to move on with our daily basis all right we need to on the lights in our office we need to on the aircon we need to on the fan all right we need uh, we need electricity we need gas to, to, to actually do our cooking if you are if you're using induction at home we still need electricity so you can see that SM the uh, SLU, okay, basically the S&P uh, 500, particularly just zooming into the utility sector, is moving now on an uptrend. Alright, if I really have to, okay, so if I'm going to draw the support and resistance level, alright, you can see that actually price has been moving up. Alright, price has been moving up. So for now, uh, if you're looking to buy, as of this week, right, we don't really have a very good setup uh, because most of them are is either in the middle or pretty much right at a high where near the resistance is. Right, so, so for now, uh, XLU is one of uh, a good candidate okay, to keep within the watch list. If the market continues to go down, it may go up further. All right, just to take note that we actually prefer it to come down touching this level. Right, this is a better level and then bounce up this could be one of it so we are looking at somewhere between 50 to 52 price range that's one okay but if you are even short term you are even a really really short term uh, investor for now in the market you just want to make some quick money and out of it right okay uh, you can don't have to wait until the price drop to 50 all right you probably have to look at it Somewhere along this level. But yeah. Okay, let me just change the color for this so that it's easier for you guys to see. Alright, just change the blue. Okay. Yeah, so if you're on a short term basis, probably you want to look at uh for the XLU to come back down to this level roughly somewhere around the $55 zone and then bounce back up again right so that price will continue in that upward trend on a short term basis right within one this one whole year yeah so XLU is one of them that you can keep a look out okay uh, the other one that you can look out is actually XLP which is same thing within the S&P 500 okay there's this there's this sector called right the consumer staples all right so this is all right this is one of the sector you can look at uh, all right so that he has it has been on an uptrend all right at the start of the year where the three wars happened right it came down quite a bit all right okay yeah, it has been on an uptrend all right then it came down quite a bit now yeah, it have moved back up again and forming a new channel all right forming a new channel all right so what we can look at uh, on a short term basis on XLP okay it's not right at a good setup for now as well for for this week uh, but what you can look at to be really conservative all right this is a level Alright, this is probably the channel level that you can consider. Alright, so you are looking for the entry, right? I probably will look at the price come down a bit more. Okay, roughly about fifteen fifty three to fifty four this range, right? And see that the price actually bounced back up. Probably uh, is a good chance for you to take to look at uh, entry again. That could be one, right? Okay, just one last one. Uh, where you can look at basically is another one is healthcare sector, right? With same thing within the S&P 500 that is healthcare sector. We all know that uh, whether the market is going up, coming down, whatever situation, as human, we still need healthcare support. We still need to take care of our health. You know, you know your the the illnesses doesn't stop just because the market crash. Yeah, things like that. So this sector is still continue going to grow, especially with, especially in in like. 
the developed country like the US where there's, there's, there's a lot more aging population, right? So this is a sector that is continuing to grow. If you look at S&P 500, or sorry, if you look at this sector itself, all right, it has been uh, moving uptrend. All right, so price consolidated a bit because where the whole market is moving for now, all right? So uh, it has came down a bit, especially particularly on Friday. All right, uh, it, it could be a setup for entry wide because uh, price seems to have bounced off the 20 and the 150 simple moving average here, bounce off 1550. Okay, on last week, or rather on this week, mon uh, Monday, it bounced off, went I back up, now it pulled back down on the same level again. All right, so if you look at it, uh, it seems to be bouncing either off the 200 simple moving average or the 150 day moving average, right? So this could be a level, right? If I were to draw a horizontal level, all right, you can see that actually for now, it's bouncing on on this level on a short term basis, right? Slightly zoom up a bit, it seems to be, it could potentially uh, be bouncing off this level as well. No. Uh, yeah, bouncing off this level. All right, so this is the two level you probably can look at. Yeah, so it depends on how the market's gonna open again for this sector on Monday. If price bounce and go up, likelihood this could be an entry. Uh, if not, it probably will come down and see how it moves. Same thing, once it come down here, it bounce up, that could be another level entry. Once it come down here, it's very close to this support line. Uh, so and plus the horizontal support so this could be a very higher probability that it will bounce but we never know until it happens right so this is uh, another uh, stocks or rather another ETF to look at if you are a person who are more comfortable actually in buying and, and for the price to move up instead of doing a short selling where the price actually moves down all right so yeah so as a whole <coughs> as a whole Right, S and P five hundred is still pretty much uncertain because the direction of where it's going is still very pretty much unclear. Uh, it's just that it's still more steered towards going on the bearish side of where the market is based on the technical point of view, based on uh, the price action. So next week will be another critical week to actually look at uh, where the market is heading and do take note of the key support level. Uh, once it's broken likely you're going to move in that direction where it is going right yep so <coughs> excuse me yep so that's it for this week video next week gonna be exciting uh, just observe and see where the market is heading all right just do remember now the market is very volatile all right just do not uh, enter any trade if you are not comfortable it's perfectly fine and it's also part of the strategy to sit on the sideline and to wait for the direction to be clear before you enter for any stocks all right if you want to enter anything, do remember to portfolio size, invest just a bit, just in case you got it wrong, you don't lose a very big part of your portfolio. Alright, so <coughs> same thing, if you like this video, please like our video on our Facebook page, uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel and please share it out to more people, your friends uh, or, or any of your colleagues that you know that they are actually flow, following on stock market, particularly on the US market, we hope to grow this community a larger so that we can actually provide you more support and insights or where the market is heading uh, give you more knowledge of uh, about the stock market all right do subscribe to us okay and i will see you on the next video right take care and invest safely.